You get to start out today's video. I do, what do I have to say? What are, well, what are we doing? Today, we are going to do a YMCA submaximal protocol. Javi's gonna ride the bike, basically, until, for about 12 minutes, and we're gonna see his max heart rate and then his VO2 max from that. What's this all about, though? Um, it is for my project. Javi is my client. I'm practicing for next semester, and so I'm doing a lot of fitness tests with him, and he's being a great sport. Nice. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so have a rest. Is it working? Mm-hmm, it's working right now. You just got up, so. It's like. How'd I do? 130 over 76. Yeah, good or bad? It's not good. Normal okay. is 120 over 80. 80, so. Got it. Past level one. Past level one. Between those, we have to set it to that yeah. wattage. 12 minutes. Yeah. Yep. And then you have to recover. You have like three minutes. But that has no weight. And start pedaling. Running out of time. I really thought you were on my side. But now there's nobody by my side. I need you, I need you, I need you right now. Yeah, I need you right now. So don't let me, don't let me, don't let me down. I think I'm losing my mind. So basically, Abby just found out that Coach Javi is the perfect athlete. And I told her her teacher's probably gonna think that she's making all this stuff up because she's gonna be like, these results are too good. Or she's gonna be like, Abby, you just found the perfect athlete, so. It's true, Javi's the perfect athlete. So what's the next step of this, uh, this project? So the next step will be um, your uh, body percentage fat. So we'll do skin folds and we'll do um, like, like measuring his biceps and all that stuff. So we'll just measure all of his um, percent fat and all that stuff. That will be the next step. And what's the ultimate goal of this project? Well, the ultimate goal is to prepare me for um, the next semester, but Javi thinks it's to get him 165 pounds of pure muscle in about <laughs> three session sessions. So that's Javi's goal. We'll see. All right. Thank you, Abby. You're welcome. So, as you can see, Coach Javi has to paint the fields. Now, I'm not sure if they give me this job because I'm low on the coaching totem pole or because I'm Mexican. I think it's because I'm Mexican that they give me this job. I don't know, but we gotta paint the fields. Uh, we finished 
We finished most of it yesterday. I had the reserve boys come out and do most of the lines, but now I have to do the center circle and the arcs because those Muppets aren't smart enough to do that. So Coach Javi has to come out here and do that. And look at this, mate. Like, this is what I'm talking about. I leave for five minutes. I leave for five minutes and look at what they do. Here's the six. There's the 18. And like, what are you doing here, mate? What is that? Now, that's not even the worst of it. Come check out this end line right here that one of my boys did. He will go unnamed because if people find out that he's the one that did this line, mate, I wouldn't feel safe either. You know what I'm saying? All right, look at this line. Like, mate, what are you doing? Like, I don't know if you can see this, but this is supposed to be an end line. Like, mate, what the... Mate. I told him yesterday, before we came out here, I told him, make sure you bring your Mexican work ethic, my friends, because that will get us through the job. And what did they do? They forgot their Mexican work ethic. So, of course, the Mexican over here, the real Mexican over here, has to come out and fix these mistakes. So, all right, let's get on with it, mate. Um, that was there before already, I swear. Um. <laughs> All right. Coach Javi did the best job he could, given the resources he had. He made the most of it. But you know what'd be really nice right now? As a reward for my hard work, a nice little mango pineapple smoothie from McDonald's. Hey, Tom, what can I get started for you? Hi, can I have a uh, large mango pineapple smoothie, please? You're welcome. Oh, hey, Stina. You're so extra. Mate, the people haven't seen you in a while. What have you been up to? I've been trying to have a life. Trying to have a life. You should try it. <laughs> so, Stina is going to do a Q&A when we hit 30,000 subscribers. Is that right, Stina? That is right. Answering all your questions. Where are we going right now, Stina? practice yes. and then game at the weekend but I'm happy because I got my mango pineapple smoothie <laughs> and now we're off to practice mate I'll catch you guys up in a little bit so fast forward a couple hours we are in the hotel in Charleston South Carolina where we have a match with the ladies tomorrow I am here once again in the hotel with your boy Athletic trainer trip <laughs> for some reason he always does this <laughs> As his introduction anyway, we're gonna end this video here right now, but athletic trainer trip He's gonna provide us with the uh, Educational content today So his job is to make sure that the girls stay healthy and that the girls recover from injury as Quickly and as effectively as they possibly can so one question we already got for uh, last video that we did was How much water should you drink? A day to stay hydrated. Oh, jeez. Boom. Put them on the spot, mate. Um, In the hot seat. Well, that one just kind of really depends on your body and um, what you're eating daily. So, obviously, the more sodium you intake, that obviously absorbs the water. And um, it's definitely more water you should take in there. But depends on your body type, your activity level. Um, there's a lot of components that play into it. Uh, there's a lot of good articles out there to read. My plate or something like that. You can enter your weight and height, um, age and everything, and then obviously you can factor in your activity levels. Uh, so yeah, I mean obviously for athletes, um, more active, definitely a lot more water, but uh, specifics? Mm, not a great question to ask right now. All right, last question here. I'm sure a lot of kids are wanting to know the answer to this one. What should I do as an athlete 
to stay healthy and to be injury free, especially in the middle of a long season, a competitive season, um, high intensity training sessions. What can I do to stay healthy and keep myself free from injury? That was a good one. Um, actually, knowing your body is very important. So not not just kind of just going out there every day and just getting your training in multiple days in a row. And then if you feel something wrong, say, ah, oh, it's just nothing, don't worry about it. If you feel that something off, go figure out what it is. Get somebody to look at it. Um, and then you can really figure out kind of what's going on and you really can get in touch with your body. Um, and as, as often as you hear this and you don't want to follow the rules, rest is very important. Um, days off, allowing your body that time to recover, allowing your muscles time to grow or recuperate if they needed to after a training session or a lift or anything like that. Um, so rest in season is definitely the most important and that all season training will offset those days that you all uh, that you're resting in order to allow you to rest during season and that is why he's our athletic trainer and that also explains why we have half the team injured right now <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding but uh, but all right so Hope you guys liked today's video. And um, if you have any more questions for athletic trainer Trip over here, just comment those down below and I'll make sure that he answers them in the next one because me and him are roomies every single time we go on an away trip. So uh, you're gonna be seeing a lot of him. And again, if you have any other questions for the coffee shop sessions that we do, make sure you comment those down as well. So, uh, oh, by the way, Trip says I need some sort of an outro. Like I can't just end the video saying like, peace out, like see you guys next time. I need some sort of a slogan. So I figured if you have a cool slogan for Coach Javi to use at the end of his videos, something that would relate to this channel, feel free to comment that down below as well because I have no idea what to do other than just end the vlog because <laughs> Yeah, I got nothing else to say. So, whoever's got the best slogan, Coach Javi's gonna use that as his outro for the videos. Um, but I guess until, until next time, peace!